Hi ladies, it's Penny here, just to confuse you because I know it's not Friday. Oh, but I thought you'd like to join me in making some magic fairy ones with wooden spoons, spatulas, anything of the like. Before I start, I've got to put my badge on. This was very special to me because it's donated to me by my grandson Adam who's left Scouts now, because he's got so many other things going on in his little life, and he's donated it to me because it's a crafts, a Scout craft badge he got. Well, I think he got two. He passed the two or something. So I'm very proud that he thought of me. So I do try and wear it as much as I can. So there it is. It's, I've stuck it on. So I got a bundle of cheap... Spatulas, wooden spoons and what have you and then I set Arthur to work to cut holes in them and do different shapes in them and things like that. There's another one here which is made a square but um, I'll have to, uh, it's no good me trying to rub with this I'll be forever so I'll need the electric one really to um, smooth all this down and then that'll be a good one as well. So, all I've done is, as I said, I got Arthur to ring it for me and uh, ring it, you know, make a hole in it and that and I've uh, sanded it down and we're going to paint it. You can make them very pretty girly or you could make them more wizardy. I'm not sure which way I'm going with these at the moment. Should we do this one first? Right. So I say, and I've gessoed it, and I've uh, I've even sanded the cause if children being involved. I don't want little splinters and that, do we? So uh, she says, she scrubs it a bit more. <coughs> it's another beautiful day here, very warm, too warm in my craft room. So I'm sat in the kitchen to mess up the kitchen instead. So what colours are we going to choose? Well I've used, um, I've been using these downstairs painting outside fairy things and what have you. So these are the ones I've got downstairs so these are the ones I'm going to be using I think. Uh, I haven't got the painter's idea where I'm going but now that's a gloss. I don't want to start off with a gloss and that's patio paint so that's pretty hard wearing. So, we'll just have a bit of this green and a bit of this blue. I did have some white, but I don't know where it's going. I might have to use the cream instead of white. Oh, oh that's good, isn't it? It's a good start. Silly woman. Don't need much more than that. You can put it on with whatever you want. Um, I'm choosing to use this at the moment. We'll just... You can cover it all densely, thickly, whatever you want to call it. Or, I hope you can see right, what I'm doing there. Can you see this? Let me have a look. Yeah, if I keep it here, I'm not bad, am I? Um, you know, it's, it's, it's your choice and you can cover it with a million and one things. Whatever takes your fancy. I will show you some others that I've done. Now, first saw this on um, Pinterest. You know what you like at 2, 3 in the morning. You go into Pinterest world, don't you? And you forget to come out. I, I think I just get lost in it. And uh, before I know it, it's 3 o'clock or something. Anyway, um, try and keep it low penny so they can see what you're doing. Uh, we're going quite green here, aren't we? But we can lighten it up. This is only a first coat. And Pinterest, that's what I was saying, wasn't I? So that's where I first saw it. And I liked the idea. And then I found the lady who I've had sub to before. Um, you may know her, Nicola Batilana. Nicola Batilana. And she does some beautiful pixie fairy things and she's done these beautiful ones. So 
um, thanks to her, I've uh, I picked up. Oh, this is a nice colour. This is like that. Well, it was. Look at the state of that now. This is a grey, but it's only. Yeah, I just stick my hand in, I think. And um, hers are wonderful, as I say. So, if you want inspiration, it's there on Pinterest. It's there with Ni Nicola Batilana. It's a lovely name, isn't it? And, uh, and I'm sure there's a few of us as well. I don't know if I spend more time watching people and not crafting or too much crafting and uh, not watching what's going on with people. It's difficult, isn't it? Find a happy medium. So at the moment we put that on and we put that on. I'm going to give it a quick blast. I promise you it'll only be quick. Oh, I have switched it off. It'll only be a quick one because it's, um, it's so warm. As all you people in Australia and America will know about, things don't take long to dry. I must admit, my washing basket's empty. <laughs> I keep washing everything. Every time you go there, it's empty. I wash this, I wash that. It's lovely. Um, so that's as far as we've got with that one. And I'm not sure what other colour. I think I quite like this. <clears throat> oh, excuse me. It's a blackberry. Um, artiste. It makes me feel like I'm quite professional, that word, doesn't it? Arti it's an artiste one, ladies, so I'm going to use that. Oh, look at that. A lovely blackberry. And for this, I'm going to use a little sponge, because I might make some... Dabbers, dabbers, you know what I mean. There you go, can you see that, ladies? There you go. That's nice, isn't it? And you think, what, what, what am I going to do with all these um, spoons? Well, we're going off in the caravan in a couple of weeks, and we're going where we were last year, which is the new forest, and it's lots of woody places and foresty places, as the name suggests. And now last year, I don't know if anybody saw, I made some um, wands, but just out of sticks and bits and pieces I had with me, which I took. And I know a couple of the little children who actually found some, and they were, they were quite delighted, actually. So that made my day. So I thought, well, this year, I'll put the boat out a bit. And um, it doesn't matter really what you do on the stick because some of this will be covered. And I thought, I'll go a bit bigger. So when these are made, we're going to hang them. No, oh, Harper is. He'll go trapsing off into the forest somewhere. And he'll hang them from branches. And I've made little tags, which I'll show you after, that say, whoever finds it, it belongs to them. And they can look for wizards and fairies and things. Okay, another quick blast, ladies. Put a bit more. I think I've just put a bit more. Uh, there's a go. There it is. Just a bit more in that centre bit there. Yeah. But say, you know, it's a woody, fairy thing, wizardy thing, so, you know, it doesn't have to be perfect and it's it's your wand, you can do um, what you like with it. So that's a bit of painting on. And now, uh, I think I've got some tissue here, I better use a bit of that as I have ink everywhere, don't I? Oh, I don't Right, can we still see this? Yes, we can. So, behind the camera, in front of the camera, I have got some inks which I brought down, which, as I say, I've been using in the garden. So, 
these just give it a nice um, different effect on it as well. Can you see? Okay. They don't take that long to do these. Well, they could take as long as you want because you put as much decoration, but um, quite good. So that's a bit of dark blue, which was cloudy blue. Okay, um, which one are we going now? What's this? It's a little bit of gold. Now this one you usually have to shape because it's got a... But it did have a ball in it. I'm not sure if I've used any of this outside or not. See that? It's not going to come out. No, I haven't. I mustn't have done. No, I mustn't have done. Gold's gone. Gold's gone. We're not using gold. Why would we want to use gold? We've got this nice colour. There, look at that. Okay. So, I'm just... I'm just rubbing it a bit here and there. Okay. A bit up there. Okay. Okay. That's quite good. Quite... Uh, Rustic, isn't it? Yep, I can't like that. And that will want a quick blast, won't it, ladies? Let me have a look at the time and the thing. All right, about halfway on that one. So it is going to be a sorry, it's going to be a definitely a two part one. So Just dry this off and try and fast forward with this. Oh, well. There we go. Might stop before I do the next one, have some lunch because it's 20 past 12. Well, let's see how that's going. Um, Yeah, I quite like that, I quite like that. So, we can always add a bit more if one, well I usually do if I'm using, you know, like this type of stuff which is just woven, like string into webbing. Uh, I've got some, it's not real, pla uh, it's not real leather this, this is just plastic, but that can be coloured as well. So, first of all, I'm just going to, what am I going to do? I'm going to put, I've got some of this glue because I've not put my gun on, uh, my gun on yet. So, we're just going to, hopefully just put a bit of, ooh, woo, ha, ha, ha. Oh, there we are. The cow coming in a minute thinking, is she lapping at and talking to? Right, and I've got, I don't know if this is one of it. Yeah, just to hold it in place. Okay. So we'll put a little bit more down. It's a new bottle, so it's just um, coming out very easily. I quite like using this because um, you can colour it, you know, with the inks after and what have you. Oh, that bit's going in there. I'll put a little bit more. It would, it would stick quicker naturally with um, if it. But it's also I don't know what the weather's going to be like. So I mean, if it's pouring down, I want them to be a bit protected. Uh, so I will be putting like a varnish on. Just to keep them, uh, hopefully, hopefully it won't rain, it's mild, and it mustn't rain. But um, if it does, about that. So I think I'm going to use some of this for round, round here as well. Yeah, I think I will. So we'll see how this goes. If you don't like it, you can always take it off. 
I don't want some, I'm going to colour this because this is pink. I should have used most probably the blue one in case I want to save the pink for something else. Oh, this is a long one. These, I'll tell you where I got these from. These are from the pound shop and they're just fringes that were on um, belts, plastic leather looking like belts and they were selling them for 50p and I thought well I'll have them for all the fringes because you know for different um, projects and that you can make tassels with them or use them like I'm doing now so we'll just put another bit there Okay, I'm going to cut that off if I can find some scissors. You put the scissors somewhere. Here's, oh, they look like scissors. Here you go. And another do clipper. Not a doodah, as Adam would say. It's got a name. Oh. I'm trying to keep my hands from being too mucky because I'm going out tomorrow with the girls and my hands are always a disgrace anyway so that's why I'm wearing gloves so that's 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 as far as we're getting at the moment and um, so then I'm going to sort out some nice but well, before I do that I brought down a couple of pads now I've used these before and um, very nice on it, you know, uh, we call them dragonflies and these are like words so, you know, it could be magic words on it or something like that. So I think that I'm going to make sure it's really dry and then I'll add a bit of detail where I want that to be. So I'll come back to you ladies very, very soon. Thank you ladies.